Here's a look at Aegislash. This is gonna be a video afterwards in case you guys miss it. Oh, my chat is off for some reason. And then my, my, my Lex is going off too. But check it out guys, we have Aegislash here. Here's a look at some pictures. Aegislash, it levels up from Hone Edge to Dual Blade to Aegislash at level five and seven. And then my, my Alexa's telling me to work out. I'll work out right after this, don't worry. Yeah, welcome in guys. How you doing? Ismail, Arison, Trinity. Welcome in, welcome in everyone. We're live right now. Drop some likes on the stream. Check out Age Slash here. Its first move is gonna be Shadow Sneak that it gets at levels one. And the second move, he actually gets at level two. So it's gonna be like Blissey and Wigglytuff. It gets a move at level one and two. So pretty decent early game. I'm gonna assume the second move is going to be Iron Defense because it's a self buff, right? I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be Iron Defense here. Next one up, we have, I'm not sure what that move actually is. I'm gonna guess maybe Slash. I think it could be Slash or Sacred Sword from Dual Blade there. It makes like a little triangle and it slashes. And then the other move looks like a very obvious Shadow Claw because it looks like uh, it looks like Dragon Claw, but just Ghost type, right? So I'm gonna call this probably Slash and Shadow Claw that it gets, you get to choose between at level five. And then at level seven, you get to choose between, I'm, that's probably King Shield and... Is that King Shield? That's not a King Shield and Protect, maybe? They both look like defensive moves. So you get two offensive moves at, uh, to choose from at five and two defensive moves to choose from at seven here. It, one of them's got to be King Shield. I don't know what the other one is. Mirror Coat, maybe, or something like that? I'm not too sure. When is the date of release for Age of Age of is coming out in 21 days, okay? I'll link in the description below to Unite API, which is making this possible. And they have a countdown on there. So you guys want to see when Age of Slash comes out? Check the description below and see an exact countdown of when Age of Slash is going to come out. So it's going to come out in roughly 21 days, though. And then next one, I don't I don't know what it's going to, it's ultimate's going to be called, but it, it, it just slashes the ground and it deals like a shockwave uh, style effect. It looks like it throws, is going to do a lot of damage. Looks fairly close range though, too, honestly. So I'm excited for that. That's going to look very, very interesting here. The, the age slash slash move. But yep, that's all I got for like pictures for now. Who's excited to see some gameplay? Guys, drop some likes. Let's go. Let's get into some gameplays here. Here we go. Here we go. We got gameplay coming up right now, bro. Boom. Check out Age Slash. It's moving here. Guys, look, I'm holding the controller in my hand, man. <laughs> so it has three and a half stars of offensive and four stars of endurance. So it's gonna be pretty bruisery, it seems like. Okay. Here you go, here's Age Slash right there. Editing look good and sound good on stream, guys. Welcome in, welcome in. What up, DJ? Age of Slash versus Trevenant. Here we go, here we go. Can someone count for every time Phil says drop a like? Y'all gonna be counting for a minute, man. Here we go, we're going in the game now. I'm excited, guys. I, I don't know much about Age Slash. I know it's, you know, it's few moves, kind of, but largely this is new to me. Stream, stream sounds good to me. Awesome, Ismail. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, we're getting the game here. Check out Hone Edge. This is one of my favorite Pokemons, by the way, guys. So you have Shadow Sneak, and then I'm going to just call it one Iron Defense. But look at that. Look at my boy Hone Edge here, bro. Probably my favorite Pokemon from the... Uh, I think he... Hone Edge from the Kalos region, right? Here we are. You auto attack down there. Sorry, we're getting, sorry we're getting a little bit of lag. Here we go. You get Iron Defense at level 2. You get Jungle with him. And... Let's see what Iron Defense does here. Iron Defense gives you like some shields, yep. Yeah, it gives you some shields and it completely blocks the first attack you get hit by. Okay, I'm assuming that works the same for spells and auto attacks. So if you know a big spell is coming, you can turn on Iron Defense, maybe if a Mr. Mime combo's coming, you go ahead and block that. And then Shadow Sneak is a dash, it seems like. It dashes to a targeted location. And, and it gives you a stack. Shadow Sneak dashes to target location, it gives you a stack. Which uh, gives you an enhanced auto, it looks like. The enhanced auto lets you go ahead and dash. And then here's Iron Defense. If you turn on Iron Defense, you get hit, you get a stack as well. And if you hit a target with Shadow Sneak, you get a stack. And it seems like you can preserve multiple stacks. So he, yeah. So let's try, let's try Shadow Sneaking a bunch without using the attacks. So, so you see you get one stack below your health for an enhanced auto. You can actually save up a lot of enhanced autos here. See that? Two. 
Okay. And I think it goes up to, I'm assuming, three. Maybe it goes up to three. It seems like if you kill someone with it, you don't get a stack, though. It goes up to three, okay. Goes up to four. Okay, so you're gonna get up to four enhanced autos at a time, which are ranged attacks. Yeah, ranged attacks that dash through the enemies, yep. Yo, what's up, Koo? What's up, Koo? Welcome in, welcome in, yep. All right, and at level five, you get to pick between Slash and Shadow Claw. Let's try Slash this time and go for the, the bottom tree. See how that goes. We got Slash here. Slash has the little triangle looking move. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that's Slash. That looks like Slash, right guys? Yep. Yeah, what up, Myth? Welcome in, welcome in. It's interesting that they make it in a triangle. Is, it, is that it's like a cry attack, obviously, right? But why do they make it in a triangle if it's Slash? I don't know, maybe they're trying to be different with uh, Age of Slash here with the triangle, but assume that's Slash. And then, yep, you can still use Iron Defense up until level 7, in which it will be replaced. There you go. It seems like Iron Defense gives you a stack and Slash still gives you a stack, right? How many stacks does Slash give you? Let's try hitting the bees. Yeah, so Slash gives you a stack as well, okay? Just like Shadow Sneak, it gives you a, a stack of your Enhanced Auto. Oh. Whoa, wait a minute. Did, does hitting multiple enemies give you multiple stacks? Oh my gosh, it looks like it has some Inherent Crit as well. Let's see. Yeah, if you hit multiple enemies with the slash, it gives you multiple stacks. Whoa. That's actually huge for bees. Wait, do we have another Lucario on our hands, guys? This might be another Lucario on our hands, guys. Uh-oh. All right, we got... I'm going to assume this is King Shield. I'm going to call this one King Shield here. Oh, it actually pushes back a bit. Okay, it gives you a big shield. It gives you a big shield and uh, blasts back a bit, it seems like. Okay, so let's try the blast back of it. Okay, so you become unstoppable, get a shield, and have a little bit of pushback. Can you use it like Snorlax? Can you push Can you push uh, stuff with it? Let's try pushing some stuff with it. Oh, it has a little tiny bit of a push to it, but it doesn't do damage. Wait, does it actually not do damage? Wow. Interesting, okay. So it's a purely defensive move, guys. It does not do any damage at all, I I'm assuming. Yep, it doesn't do any damage, and then it releases in a bit and pops them off. But it gives you a very, very big shield. Yep. Yeah, you can combo that with score shield. It's gonna be crazy to combo that with score shield. Yep. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I think this is gonna be another top laner from the looks of it. From slash, slash gives you four stacks on bees. You can immediately go everywhere. This might be the new Lucario, guys. I'm kind of scared. I'm honestly kind of scared. Drop some likes though if you're excited for Age Slash. All right, we're gonna see a fight here. Wow, enemy Trevin goes ahead and unites. Oh, Trevenant might win this. I played some Trevenant. Trevenant is very good 1v1, surprisingly, man. Here we go. Oh, is Trevenant gonna win this? I don't know. Aegis Ash might be a good duelist as well. Okay. Dude, Aegis Ash is winning. Aegis Ash is down two levels, but he's winning. Basically, like, if you use your defensive move, it locks you into the defense stance. You see that? Just like in the Pokemon games. After you use King Shield, it puts you in the defensive uh, uh, stance. So level 90, we got Unite. Okay, I'm excited for the Unite, baby. Dude, let's let's try let's try the Unite on the bottom Bs. Let's see how let's see how it looks the bottom Bs here. Yep. Ooh. I don't know what the Unite could possibly be. Maybe Super Secret Sacred Sword or something. I don't know. They're, they're probably gonna change the name of it, you know. Uh it's not gonna be like a real Pokemon move, but it's gonna be exciting though, yep. Let's go. Let's test out this Unite move. Check out this Unite move, guys. It looks crazy in the preview already. Here we go. It is a very, very thin skill shot. Very, very thin, but pretty decent range. Oh, it's just a quick slash, man. It's just a quick slash, and it deals damage and knocks up. Looks a little bit underwhelming, kind of, actually. It actually looks a little bit underwhelming, the Unite there. All right. So this might be another Lucario-style Pokemon, where the Unite is fairly underwhelming, yep. Hmm. Yeah, the auto attack meter goes... So, you get stacks from using your, your offensive ability, Slash or Shadow Sneak, and then uh, you use those stacks to dash. Now we're going to level up here. We have the Slash Plus. I actually do not know what the Slash Plus does. I'm assuming it does more damage or something. Most of the Plus abilities don't do anything too crazy. All right, let's see, let's see. It knocks up. Does it knock up? Did it knock up before? I actually haven't- I, I was not paying attention to if it knocked up before. 
Guys, did you guys remember the slash knocking up before? It looks like it has a little bit of a knock up now. It has a little bit of a CC. Looks, yeah, the Unite looks fairly underwhelming, but Slash looks very good, man. This is another case of Lucario where it has a bad Unite, but its basic abilities are just very good. Dude, look, Trevenant's getting his ass beat, and Trevenant is a fairly good duelist, actually. Yep, constantly using duelist. Oh, it's kind of jumping around a bit. It's kind of jumping around a bit, but yeah. Yeah, I think the slash plus has a little bit of a knock up to it from, from what I from my understand. Yeah, he he definitely looks strong for the top lane. I'm thinking this is gonna be a top laner. And then now we have King Shield Plus here. Let's see what this does. Does it do anything different here? It seems like it maybe has a little bit longer of a defensive time for King Shield Plus. I can't really tell what King's uh, King Shield Plus does. Yep, it lags sometimes. Sorry about that, guys. Yep. Mm. We we are playing this on emulator though, guys. So sometimes there's gonna be a little bit of issues, but it's okay. You guys get the gist of what's going on. Yeah, but knocks up, gives stacks. So slash gives stacks depending on how many targets you hit. So if you hit bees, you hit you get a lot of people going. Oh, you're about to die to bees, homie. Look at that. Wow, you actually have a really high crit chance too. It seems like with your enhance auto, you have a really really high crit chance. Oh, we're about to die to bees. We're about to die to bees at Zapdos. No. Yeah. Uh, um, let's just keep going. I don't mind a little bit of lag. I don't, I don't mind a little bit of lag. Yeah, let's just keep let's just keep it going to have a constant. Or we die to bees sometimes. Yep. My friend was talking to me here. My friend Bill was talking to me in messages here. Say so he we died to bees there. All right, let's see how we do at Zapdos. Let's see how we do at Zapdos real quick. Let's see the DPS. Scope lens, yeah, scope lens could be interesting, yeah, because your enhanced auto seems like they crit a lot, right? I'm assuming this is another 30% crit Pokemon like Serena. Boom! Big Unite coming out. Okay. Uh, by the way, Bill, if you can fix the lag within, like, let's say a minute or two, um, I'm down, but if it's gonna take a while to fix, let's just keep going. I don't mind a little bit of lag, you know? Mm. But if we fix it in a quick amount of time for next game, um, yeah, we, we should definitely do that, yeah. Yeah, the Unite looks kind of weak. The Unite honestly does look kind of weak, but its Slash looks so strong. It just gives me Lucario Extreme Speed vibes, you know? It crits too, it does so much damage, man. Yeah, make sure to drop a like, guys. Drop a like if you guys been doing so far, yeah. The Slash looks fairly, like, really, really strong. And the Unite, it has knock up, you know, it, it's not the craziest Unite ever, but it has knock up, has some CC, it's, it's range, it's a skill shot. It can't be that bad, right? Look at that. Decent range on it, and it gives you the, the buffs uh, in the attack speed and all that, which would really help. You know what they, if this Pokemon ever becomes weak, they should make the Unite give you full stacks. Does the Unite give you stacks? Actually, try Uniting. No, Unite doesn't give you stacks, sadly. The Unite should give you stacks, too. I feel like that would be, you know, pretty cool if the Unite gave you stacks as well. All right, that's game one here. We test out Slash and King Shield. Next game, we're going to test out 100% um, Saker Sword. Yeah, it's probably Saker Sword, actually. I'm calling it Slash, but it might be Saker Sword. Uh, next game, we're going to test out Shadow Claw and Protect, maybe? I don't know what the other move's going to be. I'm going to assume it's Protect. But yeah, here, let me go through the skills again for you guys here. For those of you guys who are just joining, here is Age Slash. Pretty cool looking, kind of a big looking sword actually, you know? If you stand this up next to your character, I think it'll be just as tall as Charizard, right? And then it gets moves at levels one and two. So it gets Shadow Sneak at level one, and I'm gonna call it Iron Defense at level two. So Shadow Sneak is a little dash move that when you hit a target, you get one stack of your Enhanced Auto, and your Enhanced Auto allows you to dash to your target, kind of like Serena passive, right? And its second move is Iron Defense, which just blocks one hit. It completely blocks one hit, and if it blocks one hit, it gives you a stack of your passive as well. And then at level five, you can choose between Sacred Sword, Slash, or uh, Shadow Claw. So far, we tested um, Sacred Sword or Slash here. And it's an area of effect move that, um, depending on how many targets you hit, it gives you that many procs of your passive. And this move is very, very strong, guys. This move so far looks super, super strong, okay? 
Next one up, we have, I don't know what Shadow Claw does, but so far that move looks pretty strong. Next one up, we have King Shield here, which looks also fairly underwhelming, but it could make you really annoying to kill. It gives you a big, big shield and makes you unstoppable, but it doesn't do any damage. And at the end of the channel, it pushes back a tiny little bit. Yep, what is the passive? The passive is when you have a stack, your enhanced auto dashes to the target, and I'm assuming it has higher crit rate. Uh, we don't have the exact numbers or a description of the passive yet. And then next move is Protect, so we're gonna test that out now. And then the Unite move is this big slash move that hits in a line and knocks up, and it's fairly underwhelming of a Unite move, it seems like. All right. All right, Bill, tell me when you're ready to rock and roll, my man. Here we go. We up here the move so far. We're, we're getting it, we're trying to fix the lag real quick. Yep, you can also switch between blade and shield forms, yep. So after you use a defensive move in Age of Slash, you're gonna be in shield form. And then after you use an offensive move, you're gonna be back on uh, attack form. Kind of like Shell Smash Crustle, I'm gonna assume, where after you use their attack move, you lose all your defensive buffs. And then once you switch to shield, you regain all those defensive buffs, yep. All right, we're, we're, we're waiting for the game to come back up. Uh-oh, I got the wrong thing pulled up here. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to fix a little bit of issue here, but we should get going here uh, fairly soon. If it can't be fixed in a timely matter, we should uh, get started again, that's okay. I don't mind the lag, it's, it's pretty good. It just lags every now and then, yeah. Yeah, so basically, um, Age of Slash is gonna be 10,000 coins, by the way, and 575 gems, as all the new characters are gonna cost. Yep. So we're, we're prepping up for next game here with Shadow Claw and let's call it Protect. Guys, what do you think these moves are? Obviously, one of them is King Shield, right? But what's the other one? Maybe Iron Head? Maybe this one's Iron Head, but they're both buff moves, right? Maybe it could be Iron Head. It could be King Shield and Iron Head. Iron Head is a fairly age of slash move, it seems. Release date is going to come out in 20 days, guys. There's a link in the description below for you guys to check it out. It's going to come out in 20 days. Mm-hmm. All right, Bill. Are, are you streaming right now? I can't. I can't see currently. I can't tell if it's streaming. It says. It says you're streaming now. But yeah, even if it lags, let's get back to the action. Dragon Chomp has the scripts back. No, from my understanding, it does not. Oh yeah. Okay. Next game, we can we can try showing the difference between damage taken on both the forms. Yep, that's a great idea, Toga. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let me see. Nope, I think we're gonna have to recall here. Let's recall real quick. All right, let me recall here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, try it now. Okay, now it works, guys. Here we go. We're back, here we go. All right, guys, this time we're gonna test out the Shadow Claw and I'm gonna call it the Iron Head variation, right? Here we go. It's an all round. yep, it's an all-rounder. It's gonna cost 10,000 coin or 575 gems and it's coming out in 21 days. I have a link in the description below to Unite API where you can check out um, the timer on it and big shout out to Unite API for making this possible. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, new Charizard seems very, very strong as well, yep. Here we go. Guys, make sure to drop a like on the stream. Let's get these likes up, guys. We have 600 people here. We only got 200 likes. Come on, get these likes up, baby. Drop a like if you guys are enjoying the content. Yep, all the new all the new Pokemon are fairly... All the new Pokemon have been 10,000 for a while, hasn't it? Yep. Here we go. Ready, go. How do you like Trevin? I think Trevin is pretty cool. So yep, levels one and two, you get moves. You get Shadow Sneak and Iron Defense. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're probably gonna start Shadow Sneak on this Pokemon. There, there's really no other choice. Here we go, and then level two, you get another move. Very interesting that they have an all-rounder that actually gets a move at level two. Maybe they're trying to incentivize using this trio lane bot. Because the only benefit of getting a move at level 2 is if you are trio lane, where you might not get uh, a move. But if you go solo top, 
which it looks like a top laner, you don't get any benefits from level two. And from jungle, you don't get any benefits as well. Because after Lilypup, you immediately get level three. So I'm, I'm guessing they just left the door open to play him in a trio lane uh, with the level two move there. Or played as more of a supportive character, maybe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gameplay is going to have a little bit of hiccups every here and there, but um, um, it, it's what we can do at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's 12 a.m. India. Welcome in, welcome in. So now let's level up and let's try out Shadow uh, Shadow Claw here. Maybe Shadow Claw is going to work like Dragon Claw. I don't know. I've never actually seen the Shadow Claw yet. So those of you guys who are just tuning in, after every ability, um, you get a stack. And your stack allows you to dash and pierce through enemies, it looks like. As you can see there, yep. Here we go. We're going to go Shadow Claw this time. See what Shadow Claw does. Whoa! What the heck was that? Wait, that looks crazy. It has like some three-part Serena-style combo attack. It kind of reminds me of Dragon Claw as well. Let's try it on the dummy, maybe. Wow, that's a knockup. Wait, this is like Garchomp. This is literally like Garchomp combo in one move. It kind of slashes a bit and knocks up at the end of it. Whoa. Whoa, this is sick. And it can crit. I just saw a crit, I think. I'm pretty sure I just saw a crit. So scope blends. Yo, Aesash might run some scope blend. That looks powerful, man. Here, wait, keep trying. Let's see if we can get a crit. I think I saw a crit, but I wasn't sure if it was from your auto. Maybe it was from your auto. Here we go. Oh, maybe it was from auto. Okay, I, th I thought it crit for a sec. Maybe we just have low crit now? Yeah, we're not critting. Okay. I, I thought it could crit for a sec, but it turns out I cannot crit. I don't think. But maybe we'll crit some more later on. Mm -hmm. Dude, shat what do you guys like better so far, guys? All right, Shadow Claw or... All right, let's try the Iron Head one this time or Protect. Yep. Let's see what this does. No, this is Iron Head. That has to be Iron Head. That has to be Iron Head. Right? Does it do damage? It does do damage, but it's a little bit of a dash. Does it? It does do damage. Okay, this, is, this has to be Iron Head. Whoa. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. Wait, wait. This this seems like it gives you a lot of stacks. We'll give you three stacks. It gives you three stacks of your passive, and it turns your passive into a shield bash type attack. Interesting. Okay. Whoa, very cool. This has to be Iron Head. Yep. It gives you a little shield, a little dash. And it makes it so that you have a lot of enhanced autos with a shield bash type effect. So this is going to be the more defensive set here. Iron Head, it seems like. Very cool, man. That's King Shield? No, that has, no, he has King Shield in his other move. This has to be Iron Head. His other one is King Shield. Look at that Shadow Claw. Oh, man, bro. Dude, I thought the Slash was good. Shadow Claw looks very good as well, man. Yeah, we're playing with no cooldowns on right now. Obviously, he's not going to be the car wing people this hard, right? But but it, they both look very good, though. I think Iron Head might be better than King Shield, actually. King Shield seems actually fairly underwhelming, whereas Iron Head gives you stacks, you know? It puts you in the defensive form. Wait, wait, actually, can you let the beast hit you for a sec? Can you let the beast hit you for a sec? Let's see how much damage we take in this form. Yep. And let's see how much... Wow, you take a lot... Uh, do you take a lot less damage? Let's see. Here, let the big B hit you. Let me see the numbers. So there's 114 uh, in sword form when the B hits you. And then when you go shield form, it does 82. Yep, so you definitely take like 30% less damage when you're in shield form, guys. So make sure if you guys are trying to tank or a big burst is coming up, you stay in shield form. So the damage went from 114 to 82. So someone can math out the percentage for that, but I'm gonna assume it's like 25% less damage. So you definitely get more defenses and special defense in shield form, just like in the games, which is, which is canon here. Maybe Gyro Ball? Yeah, it could be Gyro Ball. I'm gonna assume it's uh, Iron Head, though. Let's be real. It's Age of Slash. One of Age of Slash's signature moves is Iron Head. And then, do we do a lot less auto attack damage? Let's try that next. Let's see how much our auto attack damage is between the forms. So, so in the shield form, your auto attack does 182 damage. And then in sword form, your auto attack does 267. And it, maybe you have more crit in sword form as well, too. Interesting. Okay, so you definitely do a lot less auto attack damage in the different forms as well, obviously, right? There has to be some trade-off to going into the, the sword form. Yeah, 25% less damage. I think that sounds about right. Mm. What are Age of Slash's moves? Age of Slash's four moves, from my guess, is going to be Shadow Sneak, Shadow Claw, um, Iron Defense, King Shield, uh, Slash or Sacred Sword, and then Iron Head. 
I, I said I said six moves because they evolved, but yeah. Does it block a spell like Combine Plus? That's what Iron Defense does. Let me see what. Yeah, let's see if let's see if they can block a spell. Actually, uh oh, ooh, close. Yeah, maybe um the Iron Head Plus blocks a spell just like Combine. Yo, what up, Red? Welcome in, welcome in, guys. We're we're checking out Aegis Slash today, Red. What do you think about Aegis Slash, my man? Welcome in. So. Maybe it does block a spell. Here, let's try with Rotom. Let's try with Rotom. Because Rotom has a fairly pronounced spell. Okay. It's going to be a little bit hard to time here, I think, right? Alright, let's check Rotom here. And then here, attack Rotom first before you thing, so it gives you some time to thing. Yeah, there you go. And then now let's see if it blocks a hit. Alright. Hmm. I don't. I can't really tell if it blocked a hit. Let's try again. I don't think it does block a hit, guys. I don't think it blocks a hit. It's just a little bit of a uh, unstoppability, maybe? It gives you something, though. Maybe it does block it, but it's not as good as Iron Defense, though, it feels like. Yep. Here we go. You take a lot more damage when you're in the sword form, though. Like, even the bees start tearing you up. So you gotta really, like, play around what form you're in. So you're gonna go in with your attack move, then immediately go defensive mode. So you're vulnerable the least amount. Yep. And then the shield bash. I don't really know what the shield bash does. So let's try out what the shield bash does. Let me see if I can discern an effect of it. Yep. Does it have a little bit of CC? No. No, it does CC, but it lets you dash to your target, it seems like, the shield bash. Oh, you could actually auto attack in the defensive form. Okay, it just looks like that. Okay, got it. But um, the little thong attack um, has a little bit of a dash. Okay. We be losing practice game? now. we ain't losing practice game. We gonna win this game, watch. And then, okay, for those- Here, let's try the Unite for the people have not, that have not seen the Unite. Yep, the Unite is a line skill shot. It's very thin and it knocks up. It's actually really underwhelming, the Unite. Check out the Unite. It's very, very thin. It looks like a big chasm, but the actual indicator for it is so thin. It recovers health too? Oh, the shield recovers health too? I didn't even notice that. Maybe, yeah, maybe it does recover health as well. All right, all right, let's 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 max our level and let's fight Zapdos here. Let's see how he does on Zapdos. Here we go. Are they doing Zapdos? Yo, get this Eldegross. What is Eldegross? This is Eldegross playing around too much. Here we go. We're fighting Eldegross here. Yeah, I'm going to hold the controllers. I'm pretending like I'm fighting him. Yeah, I'm getting him, guys. I'm getting him. I'm beating up the Eldegross, guys. I'm slashing, I'm slashing, okay. He doesn't actually do crazy damage late game. I guess this is also with no items. Keep in mind, this is with no items. Yeah, boosted shield autos heal you. Okay, boosted shield autos heal you, and I'm assuming the uh, the boosted autos for the sword form does more damage and crits more. All right. He doesn't have any lifesteal, though, it looks like. Does he have any lifesteal other than shield form? Shield form heals you so much. It heals you 700 per auto. Oh my god, it heals you so much. All right, let's go zap here. We're, we're, we're on track to lose this game. Look how much you heal from shield form. 795 per auto. Wow. Aegis Dash dashes a lot. Yeah, if you use your abilities properly, he does get a lot of dashes. So that's the benefit of Iron Head, I guess, right? Or, no, I'm assuming shield form in the other uh, build also gets these uh, healing autos as well. We're gonna kill- we're gonna kill this Elder Gross here, here we go. I think I like Sacred Sword or Slash more though, to be honest. Hmm. But maybe next game we try out what, what, what I think is gonna be the best build. We go Sacred Sword and Iron Head. That- that build looks like it's gonna give you a lot of stacks and you're permanently gonna be, uh, uh Enhance Autoing here. Here we go with the Buzzer Beater win right here. Boom! Buzzer Beater win coming out. Yeah, yeah, the build, yeah, if you for Sacred Sword and Iron Head, you're gonna have a lot of stacks and a lot of dashes. And you can choose a lot of damage or a lot of heals, man. It's gonna be pretty crazy, yep. Yep, welcome in, welcome in, everyone, welcome in. We're testing out some Aegis Slash today. Drop a like on the stream if you guys enjoyed it, man. Let's try and get these likes up. We only have 300 likes, we got 800 people in here, guys. Welcome in. Make sure to subscribe as well, alright? Like, subscribe, get notified, boys. So you don't miss out on this early access gameplay, okay? Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and try Slash and Iron Head this final game. Yep.
Keep in mind, it looks a bit underwhelming as always because we don't have any items on. Once we have our muscle ban on and our focus ban on or weakness policy and all that, we, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some damage, you know. Here we are. Uh oh, it black screened for a sec for me. All right, yeah, we might have to recall again here. Yep. A black screen, so I'm gonna quickly go over the the Pokemon's abilities and all that again for those of you guys who are just tuning in. We have here Aegislash. It gets it levels up at five and seven, and it's an all rounder. It costs ten thousand coins and five hundred fifty seven. Uh, five yeah, five hundred seventy five gems. I mean, yep. It gets moves at levels one and two, kind of like Chansey and Wiggly. Gets Shadow Sneak and Iron Defense at levels one and two. And then at level five, you get your first offensive move, and you get to choose between Sacred Sword or uh, Shadow Claw. Next one up at level seven, you get your defensive move, which allows you to change into Shield Stance finally, and you get the King Shield or Iron Head at level seven. And then at level nine, you get your Unite move, which is like a line skill shot that knocks people up. Alrighty. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and recall again. Actually, I, I think it, it's not uh, showing again. Yeah, let's recall again. Yeah, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties with Discord, real quick. But let me recall here. And then this time, let's this time let's go ahead and try out the the sacred slash, the triangle slash move, and then the iron head. I think that will be a good combo here. Where is it? It's not, my Discord is not showing the pop-up. It's, it's black screening for some reason. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Let me check this out. Minor technical difficulties, guys. Minor technical difficulties. I'll throw this up on screen for you guys to look at real quick. All right, while we get this sorted. Uh, I'm gonna try disconnecting. I'm gonna restart my Discord, actually. Actually, I don't need to restart. Let's see this. Okay, it looks good now. Okay, I see it now, I think. But then when I press pop out... When I press pop out, it doesn't work. Where is my Discord going? Okay, when I press pop out, it doesn't work for some reason. Okay, interesting. The pop out command for my Discord seems to have, have failed. Okay. Uh, I will just, I'll go on this screen then. Okay, here we go. I am just going to stream, I'm just going to stream my main screen. So without the pop out. Okay, I'm ready to go now. Let's go. Here we go. We got some more eight class gameplay coming in. Yep. Oh, I may have lost my sound now though. I don't know why I lost sound now, though, if I stream it on here. Uh-oh. Little bit of technical difficulties in the final game here. Okay, I hear sound again. Okay, perfect. Uh-oh. It, it black screens every now and then. Okay. One sec, guys. One sec. We're getting it sorted. Um, are you tabbed differently, by the way? Because now it, it shows the, the border of the emulator, but it doesn't actually show the screen. The screen's blacked out. All right. And it's like flashing. It's like flashing in and out. Hmm. Maybe uh, we restart Bluestacks. Maybe something with Bluestacks. Are you seeing a constant feed? Because I'm not currently seeing a constant feed. It could be Discord as well, though. No, it shouldn't be Discord. It should be with the... Hmm. Give me a sec, guys. Give me a sec. We're getting it. We're getting it sorted. King Shield reduced the opponent's attack in game. Maybe it does. Maybe King Shield does do that. Yeah, we don't really know. What software are you using to stream? I'm using OBS. Go with no sound. Okay, I'm down for that. Let's try it. Uh, if sound's causing a problem, we can go with no sound. Uh, I, again, I gotta reset the call. Okay, I'm back now. Okay. Alright guys, we're not gonna have sound for this final game, but it's alright. 
We, we know what Aegislat sounds like by now, right? Here we go. And I'll put on some music, maybe. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's try. Yep, let's try Sacred Sword this game and uh, Iron Head. Yep, the bottom one. Yeah, yeah, is we're still having some difficulties sometimes. You know, this obviously, you know, is you know uh, modified into the game, so it's it's only normal that we're gonna have some difficulties here. Yep. Here's some Aegislash, Slash. Yep. We're against Trevenant here. And for those of you guys who missed this, the first move is Slash or Sacred Sword. Everyone that you hit with it gives you one stack of your passive. So it gives you a lot of stacks to your passive, man. Mm -hmm. Wow, your FPS was so low there, by the way, man. Your FPS is like 5 FPS. Here we go. So every enemy you hit with the uh, Sacred Sword gives you a stack. Animation's pretty sick. It is pretty sick, yeah. So let's, let's try it on Bs here. <laughs> oh my yo the, the slash hurts though my man it hurts it gives you stacks it hurts yeah does king shield reduce the opponent's stack like in game i'm not sure we we honestly do not really know we can maybe test it uh but let's let's test the uh, let's test iron head first though i'm assuming it might maybe it does hmm uh, let's actually test King Shield. Let's test King Shield for the people that want to know. Let's do the bottom one. Yeah, let's do the bottom one. We already know what Iron Head does, right? So, obviously, if you want the most stacks build, you can try um, thing, uh, Sacred Sword and King Shield uh, and Iron Head. But this build, let's see if it reduces the attack. So, let's see how much damage it does to you. So, it does. Let's see. It does 93 damage on auto attack. Okay, now let's King Shield him. And let's see if his attack goes down. All right, let's let it hit you. Uh, Alright, stand closer to it, yeah. Let's see if we can stand closer to it. So it does 93 damage per hit, and now we're going to use King Shield. Oh. Oh, my thing disconnected again. Uh-oh. Alrighty. Yeah, Discord's having, Discord's having a little bit of problems right now. Alright, I am back. Let's test out King Shield now. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it actually lowers their attack. So Rotom does 518 damage. Maybe not test on Rotom. Rotom might kill us here. Oh, he actually pushes Rotom in. Okay, interesting. All right. So let's see how much the monkey does. Oh, okay, we can't test it with Sword Build. We have to stay in Shield first. All right. So now we're we're shielded. It does 98 damage in attack. Okay. Let's see how much. It does after we push him with the King Shield here. All right, now let's see if it hits us. Mmm, it doesn't look like it reduces the damage, man. It doesn't look like it reduces the damage. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag, guys. Sorry about that, man. It cannot be helped at the moment. We are going to have to uh, live through here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it reduces their attack, though, from, from what I understand. Yep. But King Shield does give you a big shield, though, and it makes you unstoppable. And now we're going to 1v1 Trevenant real quick. Here we go. Let's go ahead and kill Vespaquin here. All right, let's just go max level and just destroy everything on the map. Just to kind of see how it goes. Let's just go max level and kill everything, yep. Just to test out all the moves. Yeah, we're not we're not playing this on the Switch, so you know there, there's sometimes some technical difficulties. That shield bash heals so much though, man. The enhanced armor in shield form. So if you go slash and you get a bunch of stacks, uh, here let's just go bottom for the bees here. Let's, let's go bottom for the bees. Let's take a bunch of damage real quick, like at Dreadnought maybe, and then let's see what happens. So let's take a bunch of damage from Dreadnought and then slash all the bees and then start shield autoing. I just want to see how much it heals. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, we do know the release date. The release date of um, Age of Slash is in 21 days. Link in the description below to Unite API, where you can see a countdown to it. Alright, so we're taking some damage from Dread here, and then we're going to show you guys the healing in a bit. The healing from the shield autos is crazy. Yep. You're awesome? You're awesome, my man. 
Alrighty. All right, we should, that should be good. Here, let, let's try and sword the bees here. And let's see how much we go. So sword the bees and then go immediately into uh, the shield. And see the healing of it. So as you can see, the more enemies you hit with this, the more stacks you have. So if you hit all of them, you get four stacks. And then you can go into shield mode. And look at this healing, guys. Look at this healing. You heal like 800 per auto. You see that? That's nuts. So look at that. After bees, we went from like 30% to 70% or so. Pretty decent in battle sustain, man. Pretty dang decent in battle sustain. Alright, let's go mess with Zapdos. And then there's the Unite. Dude, let's just do no cooldowns and then just keep uniting everywhere. Or will that bug the game out? <laughs> Alright, let's just let's just start. Let's just start whopping people, bro. <laughs> Yo, this Trevenant is in trouble, man. Oh my god, this Trevenant's in trouble. <laughs> oh my god, so laggy. We're just slashing down those. <laughs> yep. When is it coming? It's coming in 21 days. 21 days. Link in the description below to Unite API where you can see a, a, a countdown time for it. Yep. And big shout out to Unite API for making this possible. Here we go. And then the scoring animation for it seems fairly normal. Yep. Ambi palms. Very rarely do you guys see ambi palms, right? Look at this. Yo, these ambi palms are in trouble. It does 700 damage. It could be a decent steal tool. 700 damage is not crazy damage, but it's a good amount of damage late game. It's half of a hyper beam. So, Hyper Beam usually does 3.7k, right, uh, to Zapdos. So, if you can do 1.7k, it could be decent to steal with. I don't know. Yep. Yep, we're just finishing up now. Yep. Any? Do you guys have any questions about uh, Aegislash that I can maybe answer for you guys? What tier would you consider Trevenant to be? I think Trevenant could be low A tier, maybe high B tier. Yep. Half of current Hyper Beam, I, I would I would assume so to objective 1700. Hyper Beam does 3700 damage, right? Mm. Is it, maybe it's Unite as an Execute. Uh, we don't have the text for it, so we don't actually know if it does more damage. Here, we test out real quick. How much does it do to, to, to like the B here? Let's do it two times in a row. The first time it did 2700 damage. Wow, wait, what? Let's see how much damage the next time it does. Next time the 1700, hmm. Maybe it does more damage with more stacks you have with your Enhance Auto? I don't know. Interesting. Not too sure about Unite. Will Blaziken come out in February? Please tell. Uh, Blaziken is not confirmed. So, uh, chances are Blaziken is not coming out, actually. Yep. Blaziken is not confirmed, guys. Uh, all the leaks about Blaziken are... I'm not going to say they're fake, but they're not proven yet, you know? Whereas this is obviously proven. You see this, you see this fucker playing in-game right now. Mm-hmm. Yep, so there we go. Um, do we have any skins we can take a look at on the current client here uh, that we don't have? I mean, that we don't have on the current client. We can go over some skins while we finish up talking in the chat here. Yep. What does the stacks do? His stacks, when he's in sword form, gives you more crit, I'm going to assume, and it gives you a dash. And his stacks in shield form gives you heals uh, every auto attack. And it heals a good amount of health. It looks like it heals like 10% of your max health per auto, it seems like. Yep. I'm pretty sure post nerf Hyper Beam still does 3,700 damage objectives. They only nerfed it for uh, damage against players. Well, wow, barely winning there, winning by five points. Alrighty, is there is there any new skins on this client we can have a look at? Best build for Aegislash? Slash. I'm gonna assume Aegislash Slash is gonna run maybe like a Lucario style build with attack weight, maybe. Maybe we run it with attack weight. I'm not too sure. Probably attack weight, score shield, muscle band. Muscle band also seems kind of good on him, though. You know? So, we might run muscle band. Alright, let me go ahead and move this off to the side real quick. The Unite does not stack, apparently. Okay, the Unite does not stack. Okay, it seems like uh, that's going to be it for now. There's nothing too much new going on here. So, I'm going to end off the stream here. Thank you guys all for watching the stream and the early preview of Age Slash. Sorry for any interruptions. Uh, right after the stream goes live, if you guys missed anything, if you guys missed any of the builds, the video is going to be uploaded to YouTube and you can watch the VOD of it. Watch the Shadow Claw, watch the, you know, Shadow Sneak, watch what every ability does. So, thank you guys all for tuning into the stream and I'll see you guys next time. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed and big shout out to Unite API for making this possible. Link in the description below for the uh, countdown if you guys want to see when it comes out. Drop a like. Let's get this up to 500 likes, guys, before the, the stream ends if we can. Let's get this up to 500 likes. We got 440 right now. And then I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.